Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome to lecture number 5. Today we are going to discuss about the components. What are the components available in Bootstrap 5 version? As you know, we have discussed uh, about how can you download the Bootstrap 5 version in your previous lectures. We have uh, three types of uh, mechanism to download the Bootstrap 5 version. One, to downloading the physical files and embedding the physical file. I'm talking about the CSS and also the JS files in your project and file. The second way to download the Bootstrap 5 version is the CDN. So CDN is a content delivery network. CDN also have a physical file but available on the server. Let's suppose uh, some some other where like cloud like uh, some other computers like some other servers. So if you are not familiar with the CDN just ignore that part. You just need to embed or add the link of the file in your project to embed the Bootstrap 5 version. So this is the second way to embed the Bootstrap 5 in your project or files. The third way, if you are using some kind of managers, we have discussed about the composer in our previous lectures. If you are using some kind of dependency managers, you can download the PHP, uh, sorry, Bootstrap 5 version by using the managers. Okay, now, Today we are going to overview the components. What are the components? Components, that means what are the forms, uh, what are the classes, what are the buttons, what are the jump buttons. Okay, now if you click on the docs, so this is the official documentation of the Bootstrap 5 because we are just learning the Bootstrap 5 version. While I'm recording this lecture, the version of the Bootstrap family or the 5 is 5.0.0 beta 1 version. So they are about, they are going to launch the official version of the Bootstrap 5 family in June 2021. Okay, now as you can see, this is the component sections. Just click on the component and here, as you can see, you have accordions. So what are these things just click on this one this one this one this one so you can also generate this kind of functionality by using the uh, jquery ui but bootstrap provides you this mechanism or this kind of functionality out of the box for you at the same place okay now if you need these things just copy this section and use this code in your project okay now as you can see you have a flash so fine alert if you want to show some warnings in your applications so now as you can see these are the alerts you can show on your applications or in your applications so these are the alert sections now badges so as you can see, if you are creating some kind of notifications in your applications, you can use the badges. So as you can see, these are the badges, breadcrumbs. So these are the breadcrumbs or the navigation system. So if you need this kind of functionality, just use this code. You have a buttons. As you can see, these are the primary buttons available and Bootstrap 5 provides you this kind of functionality out of the box. You also have some kind of other functionality. As you can see, these are the buttons. Large buttons, some uh, disabled buttons, and also some extra large buttons. So these are the functionality Bootstrap 5 providing you. Okay, button groups. If you are combining two, two buttons, as you can see, these are the three buttons. You have to use the group button because you are grouping three buttons in a single or in a X axis. So you have to use the button group class. We'll discuss about these things in our later lectures, but this is the overview of the component sections. If you click on the card, so this is the card. If you are showing the profile for your user or a fewer user, as you can see, this is the image, title, some content and the button. Okay, fine. So these are the cards. So carousels, so these are the carousels, as you can see, carousels and close buttons. So as you can see, these are the close buttons. Let's suppose if you are using the modals or some kind of other clothing functionality, you have to use the close button. So these are the collapse. So these are the collapse. Click, click. If you need this kind of functionality, just use the collapse. Drop downs. These are the drop downs available 
in the bootstrap okay so this is the list group so list group list group if you click on the models so as you can see if when you click on this one a pop-up appears with some kind of content if you click on the navigation bar by creating so this is a navigation bar if you are creating the navigation bar yeah, we also have some kind of functionality or some kind of classes available in bootstrap 5 you have the nav bar the full navigation bar available here you also have a paginations like if you have the paginations in your project you can also create the paginations by using the twitter bootstrap file you also have a pop over why click on this one it will give you the informations about this section let's suppose if you are creating some kind of form you can just explain that particular form or the field by using the pop-up okay you have the progress bar if you are if your user downloading something you can also use the progress bar so 25 uh, percent completed 175 percent completed or something like that okay so you have a uh, this functionality we are going to as you can see fine and you also have the spinners if you are creating the if you are if your user is downloading something from your server uh, that means you are going to load something so you can use the spinners 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 we also have the tasks as you can see so this is the new functionality tool tips or functionality but still working so now this is the component sections in the bootstrap 5 family so a lot of things available also available in the bootstrap 4 3 and 2 but this is a 5 version so that's why we are going to cover one by one from here so don't worry this is the overview of the components in the next lectures or in the other lectures we are going to cover one by one separately or one by one manually or one by one so i hope you are enjoying this series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos and if you have any kind of questions or any kind of concern leave a comment in the descriptions below okay so if you are a new person on our youtube channel so don't forget to click on the subscribe button so thumbs up share our courses if you think we are doing good so thank you for watching